All right. So we're gonna modify this. We are gonna make this, instead of compress air, we're gonna make it oscillate air. So it pumps and then pulls and then pumps and then pulls. Or we're gonna break it. Probably gonna break it. Alright, so this is the top of the head of this compressor. Lay that back. Alright. So that is basically entirely how this works. When it pushes the air up, the, com the force of the air holds this flat, the reed valve. Whenever it pushes up, it's flat, air pushes out. Whenever it pulls back down, it springs back up, lets air back into the chamber, repeats, and then there's the valve that it, I don't know if you can actually see in there. Let's see if we can make it to where you can see this. These holes all around here are the ports that let the air through there and out into whatever you're running off of an air compressor or whatever. And this little silicone valve is what stops that from sucking just the air back in. So what we need to do to make this oscillate air is we're going to remove this and we're going to probably take this out and try to make a piece that sits over top of it so that we can turn this back into an air compressor later on if we decide. Yeah, this really out of focus piece right here. See if I can get you in a little closer on that. trying to find a screwdriver in my mess of stuff to take that out with. Only the highest quality clearance tools. And that is too small. So... with multi-tool. Right, so we just need to plug that hole. Most likely plug that one too since it is now open. That one is easy. We can just put the screw back in. without cross-threading it. Alright. How to plug that without ruining it. So looking at this, I might be able to actually just take this little silicone spacer out shove it in the hole. 
It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Depends on how this is made. So we will try to remove it without destroying it. Alright, so that opens that up to allow the air through. And it's a hot dog in a hallway. So that's not going to work. Keep some junk out of there while we think. Okay, so... Looks like the end, the cap of this pin will fit down in the hole. So we may drop that in place with a little bit of CA glue. Let's just see what we've got here. Let me get this pulled apart without destroying it. And of course we destroyed it. Managed to slice through it. Hmm. Well, that's probably not gonna work. So let's see if we can get the outside bit off. junk ends up down in it. Let's see if this flare is up big enough. Don't believe it does. Nope. And that piece got destroyed. So let's find another pen and be more careful taking it apart this time. Okay, so went ahead and ripped the piece out of the second pen because he saw pretty much the process for the first one. Now, we have to set this up to where it will not protrude too far down, which that doesn't seem to be a problem. Seems like it's completely hollow under it. But. It can't go very far up. There's limited space there. Could let it hammer itself into place, but I kind of want this to last. So we will mark it very precisely by just scratching it. All right. Let's see if we can trim this up without losing everything. Cutting mat. half of it. 
the other half is the part apparently that has the retaining clip so we'll have to glue this back together which is easier said than done because apparently that clip is on there really well The goal is to not do that, not break it trying to get it apart. So, we'll go ahead and re glue this part. Hopefully, to itself and not to me. Going to use some plastruct on this, hoping that it'll bond together. Really not sure what kind of plastics these are. And since that piece cracked, I'll try to run some down inside it and see if it'll glue itself back together. And then we will super glue it into the hole on the piston and hope it holds. It's not like it's going to be putting out major pressure. All I need to do is just move a little bit of air back and forth. It's got a pretty good fit. Doesn't sit up any higher than that screw, which was even higher with the reed plate in place. So it should work. It's a pretty tight fit just like that. If it wasn't going to have suction pulling down on it, I'd almost feel comfortable just tapping it into place, which I may still do. Not, not above that. So we're going to do a little bit of super glue and we're going to tap it into place. See if I can manage this without gluing my fingers together. And now even though it looks like there's still a hole in the middle of that, the other end of it is solid. So once the super glue sets, we should be able to put this back together and have it push and pull air. Should. So now, just make sure there's no junk on the seal. Which there's not. And we put it back together. Minus two small parts. usually means she broke it. I don't know what the proper torque pattern or specs or anything like that would be for this. So We'll go around it in a circle. I guess it would be kind of like putting four lug wheels on a car. But I haven't owned anything four lug in so long that I've forgotten. Actually, I don't think I've ever owned anything four lug. 
So, yeah. Feels as tight as they were when they came off. All right. Let's plug it in with this lovely add-on that didn't come with a plug on the end of it when I got it. Yay for yard sales. And let's see if we can tell if it's pushing and pulling air. Be right back. Okay. So let's see how broken it is. It is definitely pushing air out. And if you can tell by the, how it pulls my finger, it is also pulling air back. So, that's a win. That works. And it's not very loud either. Alright, so that's part one of a project that I am working on. We'll, uh, we'll call that good.